let's look at compound mechanical advantage. So currently I have a simple three to one and the definition of a compound mechanical advantage system is just one simple mechanical advantage system pulling on another. So I have a three to one here, whatever amount of force I pull with here, three times will come out on the other side. If I wanna add another simple mechanical advantage system to this, certainly the easiest way to do that is just to take, take the hauling strand here, put a pulley on that, put it into my becket. Now I have a three to one with a redirect. That can be really useful if there's a better place to haul over here, some other place, the hauling field doesn't need to be directly in line with the, with the system. But it doesn't provide me any more mechanical advantage. To turn this into a compound mechanical advantage system, I'm gonna need one more prusik and pulley. I'm locked, very good. I need one more prusik and pulley, and the place that that prusik and pulley is gonna go is the place where I would have hauled on the original three to one. I'm gonna put a prusik right here. And the pulley is gonna go on the very end of this. Okay, I'll put the pulley on this. Tighten it up just a tiny bit. Okay, so we should be able to see here that um, my original three to one, my original three to one comes through the MPD or comes from the load through that prusik down through the MPD, up through the pulley, and to here. So that's one simple mechanical advantage system. And then from here back, I have a whole nother simple mechanical advantage system, which is to say another three to one. This coming through the Prusik, down through a pulley, back up through another pulley. When I extend this thing all the way out, then my one simple mechanical advantage system pulling on the other, I'll go ahead and take my parking brake off. When I have one simple mechanical advantage system pulling on another, then we'll see that my traveling pulleys are moving in the same direction, but they're moving at different speeds. So I'm gonna need to reset one of these systems more frequently than the other. Um, I can reset them both at the same time if I'm so inclined, but I will have one system collapsing more than another. So I'm pulling on a simple three to one here, creating three times my pulling force, which goes into the next three to one, creating nine times my pulling force, compound nine to one.